The last thing in glucose metabolism is to look at a few of the side reactions from glycolysis, and this one in particular is uh, the production of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate, or 2,3-BPG. So uh, once you get down through hexokinase, glyceraldehyde, and at 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, you can an enzyme can convert it, uh, the 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate, into 2 3 bisphosphoglycerate, so it's a mutase, it's just changing the orientation of a phosphate group. Now this 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate is especially um, needed in red blood cells, so I'm going to put red blood cells up here, RBCs, and what happens is the 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate will bind to hemoglobin, and it allows hemoglobin to unload oxygen, unload O2, especially when the O2 levels are low, so in peripheral tissue. So we'll write peripheral peripheral tissue. So it unloads oxygen in the peripheral tissue. Whenever you uh, have a problem with the bisphosphoglycerate mutase or a problem with hexokinase in the red blood cells, then you get a, a lower concentration of this 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate and it causes a her hereditary non-sphericitic hemolytic anemia. And it's caused primarily by problems with the hexokinase enzyme inside of our red blood cells. So in this case you have uh, low oxygen being unloaded to peripheral tissue and you get hemolytic anemia. Now whenever you have a deficiency with pyruvate kinase to, uh, the first thing that happens is you have an, a lack of ATP, and so that causes damage to the cell. Damage to cell. But you actually get a buildup of 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate. So 2,3-bisphosphoglycerate increases, and it allows extra oxygen to peripheral tissue. This is good if you're running, working out. It's also really good if you're pregnant, so you can get more uh, oxygen to the fetus while it's growing. And that basically wraps up everything we have for glycolysis, for the, for the metabolism of glucose. It's a big picture overview. Uh, everything kind of revolves around glucose 6-phosphate. You have glucose coming in and going out through glucose 6-phosphate, glycogen being built and broken down through the same thing, the ribose phosphate, the pentose phosphate shunt, and then you could also come back to uh, one of the intermediates, and then of course glycolysis and glycogen uh, gluconeogenesis, all uh, creating nucleic acids and creating uh, lactate NAD, you get um, ATPs and NADHs for the electron transport chain, AD, NADH, ATP, you get amino acids, so all these things from glucose metabolism.